Have you heard the phrase, a one-hit wonder? Typically, it ties to a musician or a band who had a smash hit on the Billboard charts, only to never have another hit in their career. However, that same phrase can cross over into other arenas as well, including Major League Baseball. And today, we're featuring just that, a player by the name of Dud Branham, who made it to the Major Leagues only to play one season in 1927 with the Philadelphia Athletics, who had, at that time, eight future Hall of Famers on the roster, including Ty Cobb, Jimmy Fox, and the team's owner and manager, Connie Mack. We're going to tell you a little about Dud Branham, how his stint in the majors came about before he became a sheriff in Oklahoma, and share with you a fantastic relic, his game-used baseball bat from 1927. So keep it right here. You won't want to miss this exciting episode of History and Relics. Edgar Dudley, also known as Dud Branham, was born in Sulphur Springs, Texas on November 30, 1897, and was a native of Hartshorn, Oklahoma. Dud was known as the millionaire first baseman, as he was one of the wealthiest men playing baseball at the time, but not because of playing baseball, but rather due to his dealings with his father-in-law, last name Belleville, who was one of Oklahoma's richest oil barons. Branham started his career in baseball in 1920. He went on to own the Enid Harvesters, a minor league team in the Western Association in 1922. As a player and owner, he had his best professional season yet, hitting 391 and slugging 14 home runs, earning him a promotion to the Kansas City Blues for the final eight games of the 1922 season. After several seasons with the Blues, Branham was traded to the Philadelphia Athletics in November 1926. The Blues received Bill Wamsgans and $50,000 in return. Branham's stint with the Philadelphia Athletics in 1927 would be his only season in the major leagues, where he played in only 30 games, hitting for an average of 234. But he got to play alongside some of the best to have ever played the game of baseball, including Lefty Grove, Mickey Cochran, Eddie Collins, Al Simmons, Zach Wheat, Jimmy Fox, and Ty Cobb. The A's finished second in the American League in 1927 with a record of 91 wins and 63 losses, behind the mighty New York Yankees, who took the pennant as well as the World Series that year, sweeping the Pittsburgh Pirates four games to none. And now let's take a look at Dud's weapon of choice while playing for the Athletics in 1927, his Hillary and Bradsby Louisville Slugger Baseball Bat. This bat was authenticated and graded by PSA DNA Authentication Services at a near-perfect 9.5 out of 10. It measures 34.75 inches and weighs in at 37.4 ounces and is made of ash. This has evidence of outstanding use, including grain swelling from multiple ball strikes Ball marks on both the right and left side of the barrel, which exhibits a vintage repair using nails. After the 1927 season, his contract was purchased by the Portland Beavers of the Pacific Coast League. He played 102 games with the Beavers and hit for 374 with 13 homers before moving on to the Louisville Colonels of the American Association for the next five years. There, he averaged 14 to 17 homers per season and batted over 300 four times. He played for a few other minor league teams during 1933 and 1934 before calling it quits. His minor league stats show 2,503 hits, 
including 403 doubles, 152 home runs, and 1,459 RBIs, and a lifetime batting average of 317. He was also a three-time minor league all-star. After baseball, Branham entered a career in law enforcement. It's not exactly clear what year he started in law enforcement, but there are accounts of a 1936 photo of him and a deputy sheriff in Garfield County, Oklahoma, standing alongside other deputies, as well as Sheriff Mason Hart Sr. Branham went on to later serve as Sheriff of Garfield County, Oklahoma from 1939 until 1947. Some other pieces of memorabilia that we've come across is this fob, showing Sheriff Dud Branham's Enid phone number at the time being just two digits, one nine. Also is this button promoting Dud as Sheriff. Dud, also known to be a master mason by some accounts, passed away on February 4th, 1980 at the age of 82. He's buried with his wife Goldinia, or Golda, Lily Belleville Branham at the Memorial Park Cemetery in Enid, Garfield County, Oklahoma. And speaking of his wife Golda, it appears there is or was a family connection here in Northeast Ohio, in the Akron area. Here's a Western Union telegram from 1927 sent to Golda from an Aunt Ida out of Akron. Pretty interesting. If you have or know of any other memorabilia or information on Dud Branham, especially related to his baseball days, we want to know. Leave us a comment. Dud Branham didn't have a bad minor league career at all, and who knows what he could have done if he had a chance to stay in the majors. After all, he only got to play one season and only 30 games, but what a great 30 they were, playing alongside the likes of Cobb, Collins, Fox, and others. Not many could say they did that. So I guess it's best to have made it big once than to have never made it big at all. Hey, and be sure to check out our eBay store under ID, History, and Relics. We're now featuring channel merchandise, starting with our new logo magnet. They're only $5.50, and net proceeds go towards supporting our channel. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our program. If you like our content, we ask that you give us a thumbs up, a like, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so you always know when our new content is published. And all of this costs nothing but means a lot to us and keeps us growing. You may also leave us a tip if you choose. The address is provided here on your screen, and a link is provided in the description area below. So until next time, everyone, this one is history. Thank you.